what's all that bloody row about? I'm fulfilling the greatest childhood dream I could ever imagine. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. Ask anyone who knows me. They all know about this. <laughs> I was absolutely thrilled to be asked, uh, mainly because I don't get a lot to do a lot of singing these days. Not since I dubbed Matt Monroe for all those Bond films in the early 60s. It's actually my voice you hear. It's one of the most satisfying and extraordinary days of my life. I think as, as far as reunions go, you have to reach a certain air of desperation for everybody who to do it. And I think that they've obviously reached that. There's enough in memory and musicality and the energy and excitement of the Bonzo, but for it to work as needed, I'm sure of that. You see, the set list, it's just a, it's just a, you know, a massive, fantastic, funny songs. It's a natural moment. <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> the only people who can do funny music. And that combination of music and comedy, when it works, is really quite powerful. It, it, so you, you laugh and tap your foot at the same time. It's multitasking. We decided not to rehearse because if you rehearse, what can go wrong if you don't rehearse? Like that. <laughs> I was not a rock and roll sort of teenager, so the Bonzos fulfilled every single feeling I had for comedy and for music and for surrealism and excitement and weirdness. They, they simply dominated my life. They're secretly quite musical. They pretend to be crap, but they're actually rather good at their instruments. I think they, they have to, had to do an awful lot to try and stumble as much as they do. They, they know what's happening. It's pure passion. They play at 90 miles an hour, yeah. We're not at home outside a pub, are we? An, an exuberant uh, a theatricality, a, a comedy that we haven't really seen um, since uh, Jerry Halliwell's got singing. Uh, the first time I ever heard this record, uh, by this extraordinary old behind me. Um, <laughs> no, I've made a bomb backstage, I'm sending Viagra. I'm doing Mr. Slay's parrot. And Mrs. Slater has very kindly agreed to let me be the parrot, as you may have gathered. Hello. You will see that it's exactly what I do. It's the voice that I've pretended to use whenever I've been Vivian or, or Eddie Hitler. Hello. 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 Uh, my whole career has stemmed from the parrot, so I'm uh, I'm pleased to, to to show where it comes from. Hello. No, hello. Where are the stairs? No, we're here in rehearsals. I have to fucking fly now. It's the fulfilment of uh, of an enormous amount of desire uh, to actually be on stage with the Bonzos. It's, it's, uh, it's a huge honour. All I want is for my 13 year old self to be present and to gasp and trot and orgasm, writhing on the floor with joy. I'm lucky that they're still alive. There's <laughs> a few of them looking a bit dodgy. <laughs>